F. It's a sixth letter in our alphabet. Lots of words begin with F. Think of a couple with me. Hmm. Am I missing any? <laughs> oh yeah, the real F word, forgiveness, which is maybe exactly what you need to be asking for because of the F word you were thinking of. You know that other F word? We use it to hurt each other. But if you really want to mess with someone, if you really want to hurt the way they're running their life right now, try the real F word on them, forgiveness. Why? Because it's not the way our world usually works. We don't see it coming. We don't expect it. It disrupts our lives. And it takes what is so broken and so wrong and won't get fixed between us, and it breathes life into it. After all, what are your alternatives? I mean, you can run away or you can try to get even, but there are only so many places to run. And face it, revenge never tastes quite as sweet as we think it's going to. And God hopes for something better between us and has already shown the way. So, join us here at Jacob's Well as we explore forgiveness and even experience it a little bit, this hard, gracious work of forgiveness. We're going to be taking a look at what God intended with forgiveness in the first place, how to ask for forgiveness, how to grant forgiveness, and then the toughest part, how to live with other people after those words have already been exchanged, but the trust isn't rebuilt yet and the injury hasn't healed. And bring someone along for this. I mean, that person that needs to ask you for forgiveness, maybe they'll get the idea. And that person you need to ask forgiveness of, maybe you'll soften them a little bit. And face it, anybody that you need to rub shoulders with very much, well, you could benefit with finding a way to live together that brings a little bit more peace and a little bit less friction. Bring them along.